Angola. Bem-vindos à Voices of Angola. Hello and welcome to the Voices of Angola. Today we spotlight renowned Angolan artist Gilherme Mampuya, who has established a distinctive style characterized by vibrant African colors, unique, intricate perspectives, and a truly Angolan character. Join us as we celebrate one of Africa's most invigorating artists. A world away from the corporate life he left behind, Guilherme Mampuya splashes a riot of colors on the canvas in his studio, combining African and Angolan motifs with others from beyond. In 2002, I started working in a conventional job as a legal advisor for a company. But unfortunately, that was the environment of neckties. It's not too bad, but I saw other artists promoting exhibitions. That colorful world. I felt that this world existed in me. Mampuya's world is expanding steadily, already adorning the walls of galleries, cities, and boardrooms with big plans for a museum of Angolan art. No limit to his thirst for challenge. I drank the good things from the West, from Picasso, from Dali, but also what is from our ancestors, our cultures, an experience that crossed those things too. What I learned in law was self-control, research and logic. I think I put that in my art and that creates this mixture of art, logic, commerce, all at the same time. Which is probably why, though he left the boardrooms behind as a career, his work resonates in the corporate world. Paulo Edra is an institutional advisor for the insurance company Fidelidade Angola, investing tens of thousands of euros in his work. We've already invested more than 20 million Kwanzas with Guilherme Mampuya. This is something he never thought about. With his enthusiasm as an artist, he was fascinated by this project, which was to paint the seven natural wonders of Angola. And indeed, we have this collection in the company, and they're fantastic. Among the seven wonders of Angola, Kalindula Falls, plunging 100 meters on the Lucala River and the legendary Pedras Negras, or Black Rocks, where Angolan fighters resisted Portuguese colonial rule. I couldn't find anything better than the Seven Wonders, right? Another great admirer is art critic Carlos Batista. Mampuya did his portrait. Talking about Guilherme Mampuya, in short, is talking about artistic eclecticism accompanied by high intellectual honesty. It's also talking about humanism. The world loves him, from South Korea, Paris, Brazil, Portugal. His combination of Western and African artistic styles contributed to his success. I mixed that light from Africa. I was able to mix all these characters. My art is a mixture of Dali, Picasso and Jao de Buffet. He also integrates the history of Angola in his work. The history of colonization, slavery, the triangular trade, it was here, we were exposed. Of course, when you're exposed, you receive all the influences, both negative and positive. I tried to express joy, peace, hope, faith, struggle, faith in tomorrow. So where does he go from here? Guilherme Mampuya has his own gallery and it's time to build a museum with the works of African artists. It's going to be a pantheon with all the great figures of Africa. We're talking about four hectares. There's already a space. Everything is in motion. And why not make his mark on Angola's new airport in Luanda, making the control tower a beacon for Angolan art? I want to paint this tower. It is my dream. Paint that one, toast the tourists arriving, that welcome look from Angola with that light, with our strength. A snapshot and celebration of one of the African continent's exceptional artistic talents. That's all for Voices of Angola for today. You can see this report again on the special Angola page on Euronews.com.